All right, YouTube, so I have a 1999 F-150 <clears throat> that has the horrible issue, I mean, it's awful, of the leak from the back window. So from this back window, right in here, water's been coming in for years, and I've just neglected to want to take the glass out and all. It looks like a horrible pain in the butt, so... What I have found on YouTube, and I'll find uh, the link and put it down below the description here, is a guy who has figured out a way to maybe fix this. Um, so I'm gonna try it here in a minute. I'm gonna show you how I do it, and we'll see how it goes. I've got my own little tweak on it, and let's find out. All right, so here is where you have to go to get the product. You cannot go to Lowe's. They do not have it. I frustrated a salesman at Lowe's trying to find this thing, but you have to go to Home Depot. Here is the product. Now, the guy that I saw on YouTube who did this, this is what he used. The Polyfoam Cock Saver, 3 8 inch diameter, 20 feet long. Now, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I have the 5 8 all right? Diameter, 20 feet long. And what I think I'm gonna do this says it fills large gaps. This one says it fills small gaps. I'm gonna shove in the large first, and then I'm gonna shove in the small on top of that. Notice it's moisture repellent, and we'll see how that goes. So that's our product. See you in a minute, yeah. All right, so here we are. We're gonna get in the truck, see how this goes. Starting off with the Five eights. I just think this five eights being there be a little bit tighter. I am trying to. Oh, there you go. Little on that side, little on that side, and it's going. Yeah. Oh yeah. Check it out, buddy. We're gonna fix that leak. You know how it leaks in there? We're gonna stop it from leaking. What do you think about that? It's leaking from up here. That's where it's leaking from. So the water won't fall on your head when you're sitting back there. That's why we don't drive it a lot. That's right, you gotta drive the little car, especially in the rain. Now this is gonna be a little time consuming. I'm gonna keep working on it. And you see how it's going in there? I'm gonna see if I can get a little tighter. If not, I'm gonna stick that three eighths in there. Found a little technique, kind of push in from one side, push in from the other, and start smashing them down in there. Yeah, I like this technique. All right, so you can see here at the top, right here around the light, doesn't go down all the way. But I think that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not sticking out. It doesn't look bad. But then you get beside it, you got, it goes down further. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna put another layer right under that right there. And another layer right there on that one. It's really deep over there. I'm gonna go do the sides right now. All right, we'll get back with you. All right, here is the final product. It's not gorgeous, but it wasn't gorgeous in the first place. It's a 1999 F-150 with 285,000 miles on it. Keeps I chugging along. But you see how that is? There's a few little gaps. I'm really not that confident that this is even going to work, but let's see. Let's see from a distance. It don't look bad, you know, from a distance. There, you're going to tell me if any water comes down through there. Okay. All right, beautiful wife, you're going to get in there. You're going to get that grape juice right there that's just water up back in the truck and you're gonna pour it all over the top and I'll tell you if I hear if you hear me hollering stop that means there's water coming in okay. so please stop JT if you see water start hollering okay let's see here she goes gonna pour it it's not it's working pour it heavier oh it's coming in right there That coming in no that's not coming in oh oh it's pouring in over there stop 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 oh well over there it's pouring in yep so it stopped this side though i'm thinking that there's just not enough over here so i'm gonna shove some more but i'm gonna get back to the big stuff and put some five eights in here so it stopped the other side i guess keep on shoving it in here fill this hole up Common sense says it stops the leak. Unless 
Here's the other side of common sense. It's not where the leak's coming from. And so I'm thinking, small chance, but I don't know, in here, coming around. I don't know, let's just keep shoving stuff in there. See what happens, shove this polyfoam down in here. Polyfoam. Not gorgeous, but I'm not trying to pick up any honeys anymore. I've got my beautiful wife and I'm good. Who do I need to impress? I don't need to impress nobody. Here comes another 5 8. That one's sticking out a little bit too much. Oh, no, it's not. I got that figured out. Now, this one's not going in the hole too good. So, I'll tell you what that means. That's good. That means that it's filling up. Probably come back with a 3 8 on top of this or right here. Let's keep pushing down. I think it's going to settle. Yeah, looky there. Looky there. Get in there. Get in there, polyphone. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Ooh, I like this new technique I figured out here. Boom. Yeah, it's getting in there good. I'm gonna cut that off right there. Call that a wrap. All right, here we go. Let's try this out again. Is it coming in? I don't see it coming in in there. It is dripping. All right, it says dripping over there still, so. That's that, that didn't work. Got one side, but not the whole thing. Out, back to taking out the window. We need to try some cardboard. Wanna try something else? Do we need to keep trying though? Yes. So when something doesn't work out, do you quit? No. What do you have to do? You have to keep on working. Gotta keep on working and keep on trying, right? Yep. All right, give me a fist bump. Boom, we tried hard, and we're gonna try something else. We'll get back with you later. This fast food fitness, just, just move, all right?